<laughs> students. School starts next Wednesday, August 25th, so we thought it'd be a great time to have you and visit with us a little bit about the upcoming school year. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you for having me. Uh, Got to start with this, the hot topic. Uh, uh, were you surprised by the reaction? You know, I think I've been more every single day and we're learning, so I respect people's passion and I knew that, but I do appreciate everyone's advocacy and, and understand that there's a wide variety of perspectives in education for our students. Okay, and in case you missed it, Fargo schools uh, will have the mask mandate uh, starting the school year. A lot of other schools are still having a lot of questions. People want to know, how long will it last? Yeah. The mitigation strategy, it was to implement all the mitigation strategies that are schools, we will adapt accordingly. So I don't have an answer. The only thing I can tell you, students and staff that have been supportive and understanding of that. You don't have a crystal ball? You look different? You know, uh, not totally different. You know, the mitigation strategies that involve uh, promoting the use of hand washing, six feet was a recommendation. Those are the new suggestions for this year. Last year when we had so much unknown about COVID, we, there were a lot of things that we school operations running to the best of our ability, but just implementing those mitigation strategies that have been outlined by Fargo Cast Public Health, which are echoing. Families who have kids in sports are wondering what happens there. Mm -hmm. Will they have to wear masks during practices, games, anytime they're on the court? And you know, sports are an interesting dynamic because we have to break them down by, by different levels as well. High school sports is what most people ask about and they're governed by the High School Activities Association. Indoor activities, with, it, may, it may look different for indoor activities versus outdoor. When we're still talking about, you talked about the air filtration system, different things were added with some of the different monies that were, uh, you know, given to schools. Uh, schools here in Fargo. Sure, there's always, uh, there's so many things that we're excited about this school year and so many things that we've learned from COVID. I think the first thing I want to say is that in Fargo Public Schools, every student has the opportunity to have a one-to-one -one personal learning device. That was an investment that we made. We had that opportunity for our students from six to 12, but it was an uh, investment that we made for our early learners um, all the way through elementary school last year because of COVID and we're excited to continue that opportunity. Uh, we have upgraded our, our air filtration systems and how we have clean air coming in changes and closer to the winter time. It may drop down to 15 to 18%, but that's something that we're able to do as well. Along with that, just what are the different ways that we've learned education? We're learning every single day. We get to grow with our students and we're- What are you most excited about? Seeing students. You know, the summer has been great. Uh, being able to travel, spend some time with families, but you get to miss students in our buildings and being able to interact with them and being able to see all of our administrators and our teaching staff come back renewed for a fresh school year is extremely exciting. All right. Well, we ran out of time. I knew that would happen. Talked about the mass mandate too much, uh, but there are a lot of other great things happening in the Fargo School District. So we'll have to have you back on. Great advice for college freshmen in your life.